the Travel Agent's Guide to the World, and I'm your host, Heather. Today, I'm here at the Hong Kong Disneyland Resort. This park is all at once familiar and yet very different. Are you ready to explore? Let's go. Hong Kong Disneyland opened its gates to the public in 2005. At first glance, it feels just like a copy of Disneyland in California, right down to the castle. But the mountains flanking the park give it a unique vibe you won't find at any other park. And once you explore all it has to offer, you quickly see that this is not a carbon copy of Disneyland. Hong Kong Disneyland is an incredible destination with its own unique identity and some of the most fun attractions and shows you'll find at any Disney park. So I'm here in Fantasyland, and while they do have the classic attractions like Dumbo, It's a Small World, and my favorite, the Mad Tea Party, it's here in the Fairy Tale Gardens where you'll really feel Fantasyland come to life, literally. Here you can walk through scenes of your favorite Disney fairy tales, and in true Disney fashion, magic happens everywhere you look. There is an undeniable charm to Fairy Tale Forest. It's reminiscent of the Storybook Land canal boats at Disneyland, but with some unexpected surprises. As you wander your way around the perfectly manicured gardens, you'll discover scenes from Snow White, Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, The Little Mermaid, and Tangled, just to name a few. Have you ever wanted to become the size of a toy? Well, here in Toy Story Land, you can. You become one of Andy's many toys, and you can hop a ride aboard Slinky, parachute with the Army Men, or race with RC. Let's go. While it's not the biggest land in the park, it is certainly the most playful. While guests back in the US will get their own version of Toy Story Land at Disney's Hollywood Studios in 2018, this is the original. And the Imagineers have had a lot of fun adding some great, playful details everywhere you look. Having visited Hong Kong's version, I cannot wait to visit Andy's backyard and play with all the toys next summer at Hollywood Studios. Howdy! Welcome to Grizzly Gulch, home to Big Grizzly Mountain. This railroad is a fast-paced hybrid between Big Thunder Mountain, Expedition Everest, and Seven Dwarves Mine Train. And if you think those rides don't go together, you're wrong, because this is easily the wildest ride in the wilderness. The Big Grizzly Mountain runaway mine cars blast you, in this case literally, around the Big Grizzly Mine. It was the sleeper hit of the park and a ride I had to experience over and over again. It's just that much fun. Built around the ride, the town of Grizzly Gulch is Hong Kong's version of Frontierland. This old gold rush town has some great views of the mine cars as they careen around the track. You'll also find some fun water play areas too. And here's a fun fact for you. The town is home to the Lucky Nugget, the biggest gold nugget ever found at the Gulch. It really put the town on the map. But Grizzly Gulch is just a lucky town in general. In the Chinese culture, the number eight is considered a very lucky number. If you look closely, everything in Grizzly Gulch corresponds to that number. The Lucky Gold Mine even opened its doors on August 8th, 1888. Adventureland is home to the Festival of the Lion King stage show and Tarzan's Treehouse, which is in the middle of the river here. So cool, but it is the world famous jungle cruise that you really want to check out. This version of the classic attraction boasts one fiery ending you do not want to miss. Here in Hong Kong, the jungle cruise is in the center of the park on a river that surrounds Tarzan's Treehouse. There is something even more charming about the Jungle Cruise as interpreted by another culture. It's still just as fun and entertaining as it is stateside, maybe even more so, and it's great to see it enjoyed by guests from around the world. So here we are in Tomorrowland, and of course there's a Space Mountain, but here in Hong Kong, they have the Star Wars themed Hyper Space Mountain, and they really go all out. There's a full-size X-Wing in the queue. But my favorite part of Tomorrowland here is the very first Marvel attraction anywhere in the world, the Iron Man Experience. It's amazing. The Iron Man Experience is just that, an experience. As you wind your way through the Stark Expo, you see some of Tony Stark's latest and greatest designs and world-changing ideas. Then you board your Iron Wing transport vehicle for your routine flight over Hong Kong. You know things aren't going to go as planned. 
Luckily, Iron Man is there to help save the day. And after your adventure, you can meet the man himself. Ladies and gentlemen, Iron Man has locked the building. This may be my favorite land in the entire park. I'm here in Mystic Point, home to Mystic Manor, Hong Kong Disneyland's unique version of the Haunted Mansion. But instead of 999 happy haunts, this attraction has its own unique storyline. I'd love to tell you all about it, but I think it's something you should experience for yourself. I cannot say enough about how much I love Mystic Manor. Its theming, story, and characters are all just a perfect example of Disney Imagineering and storytelling at their very best. I'm not kidding when I say this is a ride you must experience for yourself. Even looking back at it now doesn't do it justice. This attraction is worth the price of admission alone. When you do visit, be sure to say hi to Albert for me. Oh, you haven't met Albert yet? Well, that's a mystery to solve when you visit. When you come to visit, Disney has you covered on where to stay. There are three stunning hotels, the Hong Kong Disneyland Hotel, the Explorer's Lodge, and Disney's Hollywood Hotel. They're all unique and wonderfully themed, but the best part is they're so close to the park, it's just a short bus ride or quick walk away. Adding even more convenience is the subway station located at the park. The train is super cute with a Disney theme and it's a fast, very easy way to get to the airport or downtown Hong Kong when you want to do some sightseeing. I've only scratched the surface of all you can see and do here at Hong Kong Disneyland. The familiar sights and sounds of Main Street USA give way to a unique and charming Disney park. I hope you'll get to visit sometime soon. Until next time, I'm Heather, and I'll see you around the world.